Hey, y'all. I was trying to figure out how to go and do a reaction video live. Um, I couldn't figure out how to get my live video stream and Amber's on the same page together. So that didn't work out. But we're just going to do it the way I've been doing it for now. Uh, that's her community tab that she posted about an hour before she released this video. So it didn't take her long to decide to do what she already had in mind. She was just giving us a heads up. She looks excited. Everyone, so... Hey, Porcarina. What you got for us? Go with it, boo-boo kitty. Welcome to Wednesday Weigh In. I know, so cliche. About an hour ago, I posted on YouTube if you guys want to see Wednesday Weigh Ins for me. And majority of you said you do. So it's definitely something I want to try incorporating into my channel. Sugar dumplings. We want to see live weigh ins. And we want you to be on the scale that says, Hello, it's ready. We want you on that scale, not the one where you set the tear and it made you appear to have lost 52 pounds. Okay. I was doing Wednesday weigh ins. I know that I set schedules and promised you guys certain videos in somehow, some way. Yeah, always. Stop. I always end up stopping. But for now, this is what I want to do is Wednesday weigh-ins, which also is kind of going to bring me into... She don't sound very loud. I was trying to up my volume, but my volume's up all the way. ...to a new schedule I kind of want for YouTube and just to see if it's going to work for me. So I don't think I've ever done this before, but I kind of want to do weekly vlogs meaning one vlog is one week and film that monday through sunday and then upload that vlog on monday so i want to try doing that um i know today is wednesday and i actually started that today on wednesday so i wasn't able to vlog monday and tuesday i actually did vlog monday and tuesday but it was on my camera the files corrupted i don't even know what happened it angered me but it's gonna be wednesday through sunday of this week and then you guys will see it on monday and then on fridays i also want to upload a video it's gonna just be like random i think you guys can give me ideas on the things that you want to see but this video was girl i still want you to try on that two-piece bikini okay that's highly requested. Very last minute. It's just I have a lot of people wanting weigh-in updates. A lot of people want to know, like, what are you doing to lose weight? Are you still on track? This and that. And then I also see... Girl, we know you ain't on track. Don't go there. You know, a portion of the weight loss community um, uploading weigh-in videos. So I figured... Maybe I can be part of that. There's actually not that many people who are doing it. I wish there were more. So it's me and deeper. Like, I want to see that from the weight loss people that I watch. So it's like, you guys as viewers, I feel like you guys would want to see the same thing from me. So I figured, let's give it a try. So before I actually get to my weigh-in, I have a lot of questions. People asking, how come I switched scales i have you've had a plenty of time ample amount of time to sit and come up with an answer for this so give it to us girl two scales i have a talking scale and i have an industrial scale the talk the talking i i don't know what's going on with that repeating thing i would be embarrassed to tell people i had an industrial scale scale I actually bought after the industrial scale. So I was using the industrial scale, which was very expensive. It's 
around $300. I got it for 50% off. Thank God. It is very reliable. I could step on it over and over and over, and it'll say the same weight down to the ounce. And then a lot of people thought I was faking weigh-ins on that scale. You so did. I went and bought the talking scale. So I switched scales. I was using industrial, which I prefer. But since people weren't believing me, I kind of wanted to prove myself since the talking scale talked and I don't think it had a tear, which industrial does, even though I've never. Girl, don't say even though you never used it. We know where this is going. Go ahead and lie to us. I used it, but people thought I was using it. So I started using the talking scale, which was great because it's super simple. It talks. I was strictly only using that scale for you guys. I didn't like it because for me it wasn't reliable. I like to step on the scale three times normally. Every time I'd step on the talking scale, even if it was seconds apart, it would always say something different. Sometimes it would like literally be a three pound difference. I know a lot of people who have that scale, it happens to them as well. It's not just me, it happens to Becky. I have put Twinkie on it. And I just, I, I just don't want to- Sugar do dumplings. If Twinkie is heavy enough to make a scale weigher, she needs to be on a diet. With that scale, because like I said, I was only using it for y'all, and I realized the industrial scale, it was super expensive. I prefer it. It's way more reliable. Like, I, yes, you prefer it because it has the tear feature. I literally want to know to the ounce how much weight I lost. Like sometimes it could be kind of obsessive, but that's whatever. Like this is what I'm here for. Like I'm here to lose weight. And if you guys believe that I'm using the tear on my scale, that's fine. Um, it's not going to affect you guys. If I do or I don't, it's only going to affect me. Right about my weight is not going to help me in this journey at all. I don't have any reason of doing so. So I will continue using the industrial scale. And I know a lot of people also want to see me physically step on the scale. Sometimes that can happen because to see that, Becky would have to be filming me because our room is very small and that is where I weigh myself and there's nowhere to put the camera that would... You're telling me that the room is too small for Becky to film you in your bedroom? I don't believe that at all whatsoever. That's a lie. You're just looking for an excuse not to do a weigh-in where somebody can see Becky doing it. Would show my full body, top to bottom, stepping on the scale. So the only way that I could do that is if Becky films me. And as you guys know, I like to weigh myself naked. I like to know literally down to the ounce. It's disgusting. That is an obsession. It's whatever. Um, but showing the actual like number is fine because I prop it up as I'm standing on like on the other side of the camera naked so you guys don't see. <laughs> I actually have my camera propped up against a like it's one of those spray things where you can clean your uh, keyboard random. Air <laughs> That's how I was able to get the shot in my last weigh-in video which was over a month ago. But you yeah, girl, we know that video with the tear feature set for the exact amount of weight that you lost. We know. You guys watch my channel. You guys want weigh in updates. Now it's just up to you to decide, do I believe her or do I not believe her? Because I'm actually not going to be here to prove myself to you guys. I'm just going to continue my journey. And as I'm losing weight, you will begin to see that if I am gaining weight. You will also see that. So that's up for you guys to decide. So I have my weights written down. So if you see me looking down, that's why. Because it's just like a lot of numbers. So let's get to my weigh-in. My starting weight overall is 572.4. I know a lot of people are so tired of hearing me say that number. But I feel like it's pivotal. It's important. It's a really good starting point. Even Dr. Now thinks so. All the weight loss shows I watch. People I watch on YouTube. People I've talked to. Sure. That's not a good weight. I guess it's a good weight to start at. And all those shows that you're watching are tailored for those individual people. 
to lose weight. It's tailored to individual people. It's not made up for a universal weight loss surgery thingy. Everybody has their own individual file. I have a file where I had weight loss surgery that was tailored to me, not to everybody. To who have lost hundreds of pounds, that is the number you never want to see again. To the ounce. I mean, for me, like ounces matter because they add up. So on January 1st, I was 542.2. So that was a weight loss of 30.2 pounds from my highest. February 1st, I was 524. So in January, that means I lost 18.2 pounds, which brought me to a loss, a total loss of 48.4 pounds. March 1st, I was 519.8 which was a 4.2 loss from February, which brought me to a 52.6 weight loss. And I'm also gonna say the weight that I was today, March 4th. So I posted on my weight loss Instagram, pineapple pinup, P-I-N-E-A-P-P-L-E-E-P-I-N-U-P. -E 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 if you guys wanna follow that, it's also linked down below. My weight for March 1st, and a lot of people were really confused. They were like, how is that your weight for March 1st? And how did you lose the 4.2? If in your weigh-in video in January, you were 519.6, Oh my God, it's so many numbers. I hope I'm not like miss saying something because it's just a lot. So I kind of wanted to try to explain that for you guys. So I uploaded that video January 26th, but the actual weigh-in, me filming the scale at 590.6, I filmed that on January 22nd. I even said in the weigh-in video that it was filmed a few days prior because I was holding on to that because I was just debating back and forth. Do I really want to upload this video? Do I really want to? Do I really want to? Because as you guys know, I really wanted to wait until it was in the 400s. But then four days later, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. So that means the last nine days of January, since I weighed myself January 22nd at 519.6, the last nine days of January, I did gain 4.4 pounds, which I did mention because after my weigh-in video, I uploaded a comparison video, which I actually filmed for myself. And in that video, I said, okay, yeah, I am up four pounds from my lowest. So I did say in that video that I gained four pounds. So a lot of people are like, oh my God, you're lying. No, literally I'm not. But that's why on March 1st, I was 519.8 because I was able to lose 4.2 of the 4.4 that I had gained. And 4.2 is so bad. I could lose that in a week, I know. And I said on my Instagram, I have absolutely no excuses for why I only lost 4.2 in February. Besides, I didn't try. I didn't try hard enough. And that's literally it. So today, March 4th, I, you know, I told myself on March 1st, I'm going to try harder. February was a flop. January was amazing. We need to get back into high gear because I really, really want to be in the 400s. I literally cannot wait. So I went in today at 516.2, which means I am down 3.6 since March 1st, which brings my total weight loss to 56.2 pounds. And I literally am 3.8 pounds from losing 60. I am so freaking excited. I am holding on to that number. That number matters even before me reaching the 400s. So 60 pound weight loss. I really hope that I can come on here next Wednesday and say that I have reached that. You guys are going to be upset with me, which is fine. A lot of people are constantly upset with me, but I did not film this weigh-in because like I said, this was a last minute decision. So next weigh-in Wednesday, I will definitely be showing the number number on the scale didn't she just tell us that but i didn't do it today Shh, i'm talking didn't she just tell us a few minutes ago that she recorded a weigh-in for us that she was gonna put it in here or did i imagine that she said that didn't she say it okay amberlynn because it was just me stepping on the scale willy-nilly I didn't know I was going to be filming this. It was just something I decided to do because I want to hold myself accountable. And by doing that, I think giving myself some... I'm confused. 
it sounded like she was just telling us a second ago that she didn't record a way in. Now it sounds like she did. Pressure to upload way in videos could really help me. But I mean, in the past, pressure has kind of made me fail because then I got really overwhelmed, but I feel like I'm in a better headspace. So I'm hoping that maybe pressure. Darn, Java snoring. Be a good thing. But you know what? Only time will tell. If I notice that Way and Wednesdays aren't working for me, then obviously I'm going to stop them because this is like of about me and what I need. And if you guys want to see them, then obviously that you know makes me want to show them even more. And if I notice that Way and Wednesdays are working and they're fine, you know things are just going how they normally would, then obviously I'm going to continue doing them. So if you're on a weight loss journey yourself, I hope you guys are doing great. I know you can have slip ups and like a roller coaster there's ups and downs and plateaus and you don't get morbidly obese for no reason food tastes good um food helps with emotional that's why people emotionally eat a lot um food addiction binging just know that whatever the reason may be of why you're morbidly obese or super morbidly obese or just overweight just know that there is a way to heal from that and i'm trying to work on myself and heal from my issues which is so hard and sometimes it's so daunting i feel like it's never gonna happen which is a normal feeling it doesn't mean i'm talking negativity into existence because i am trying to stay really positive but i feel like they're just like the, the the stages of mourning. You know, there are stages of that. I feel like there are stages of recovery or, you know, getting through something. One of the first stages is like, you feel so trapped that you feel like nothing is ever going to change. And sometimes I feel like I'm still in that stage because it does. The whole situation just feels very daunting how much weight I have to lose. I hate the way my body looks. I know I'm going to hate it even when I lose weight. You know, there are negatives to this. It's not just like butterflies and glitter. Girl, you going to tell us a negative would be losing weight and having flabby skin? That would be a positive. Like, I wish. There are a lot of things that I want to talk about in my weigh in videos, a lot of things I want to open up about. Um, I want to talk about the nitty gritty, I want to talk about the good stuff everything like that so if you guys are excited give it a thumbs up i don't really ask people to do that that's weird <laughs> but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye Ugh. Ugh. oh my god there's dana i mean destiny's picture y'all i'm just i could have swore that she said she had a weigh-in recorded for us that she was gonna put in the video and then she said she didn't and she didn't show one. I think she lying to us somewhere. Come on, lying, Lynn. Stop telling us some fibs. Stop it.